well as uh, Dean Cox, who is also playing the deepest forward. Barlow with the free in the back. Leading some media awards. Michael Barlow after an outstanding year to Pavlin. Can't argue with his accuracy. 46 goals, 16. Barlow wins the takeaway. When they start to believe the West Coast last week, the morale boosting victory over Adelaide. Barlow to Lundy. Hands it up to Sheridan. Knows he needs to go. It oh, goes to Pavlich instead. Walters was lurking forward. Has the, the Pav got the leg on him? He pops it back to Sheridan. And it was stolen from him by Barlow. He also had a big first half, 16 possession first half for Michael Barlow. This kick to give them back. But Barlow has elected to grab this one. He needs to drill it. Crowd roaring. Just squeezes it in. Fremantle getting their Bojo back. He's giving it all at the moment. Six disposals in this quarter. Six effective disposals. Good attack from Rosa. Knocked it down. Hill with a goose step. Ran himself into trouble. Runs himself out of trouble. No one to go too long. To the ball. Barlow. No one in the square. The guys have done that all afternoon. Given an enormous amount of time. Sheridan. Given an age. Barlow to Hill. Puts the Jets on. Ignores Crowley. Goes long. Sandlin's in a one-on-one. -on -one. All taking some really good intercept marks. Cox and Sandlin's ball hits the deck. Barlow clean pick to Mundy. Pavlich has to go. Yeah, Pavlich better. didn't quite understand what he was doing. McKenzie caught. Schofield shrugs it. Oh. Was that a handball? No way. <laughs> Holding the ball. Well, he did well there because he grabbed his arm and Schofield thought he was going to be able to release it, but the arm was ping. He'd had prior opportunity to take any grey area out of it. And the pressure of the uh, Dockers. But this will be huge, the four points, to keep themselves in with a chance of a top four finish come the end of the home and away season. West Coast Eagles, if they lose this, will stay ninth. And that goal could be fatal.